There's something about being in a cinema with that 100-foot screen and the 108 speakers all around you. <laughs> to really experience the, the, the filmmaker and their story and, the, thing, and the, the visuals that they want you to see. Can we first talk about the fact we're sitting in this theater? I know, I know. This is one of the most beautiful theaters I've ever been in. The former Cinerama, saved by Paul Allen in the 90s. We were so, so excited and so blessed to, to take possession of it this last year in 2023 and run it as SIF Cinema. What is it about film? Why should people care about films to keep places like this open? All of the things that filmmakers want in making the film uh, is here on the screen. And I think that there's something that is in our DNA about coming into a movie theater that you understand. You, you don't look at your phone. You don't like talk to the person next to you. You don't do all these things that would take you away from having the experience. How do you convey that to a younger generation surrounded by so many distractions. What's really interesting is that the audiences that we are seeing growing uh, post-pandemic are actually the younger generations. They are folks that are starting to really recognize that all the distractions that they have in their daily life, the fact that when they go to work, it's just email and Zoom and Slack and all these things, they actually are craving this kind of community to sit and watch a film. It feels like you're saying, Younger people want less noise, more substance. I think that's true. Yeah. We showed Alien uh, a year ago, a double feature with Alien and Alien 2, and we asked the audience how many of them had never seen the film, and half of them had never seen it. And then we, we asked them, how many of you have never seen it in the theater? And three quarters have never seen it in the theater. What's the matter? <laughs> the food ain't that bad, oh, baby. Okay. And everyone knew the scene. Hey, what's the matter? Where the alien comes out of the stomach. Like, they all oh, knew that it. that broke me. <laughs> I could right? never see a scary right. movie after that when it comes up and scampers. <laughs> And they had all seen it on memes, on trade on, on their mobile, <laughs> mobile devices. They had but no never idea. They had never seen the film. Isn't that just so, stunning? It is. It's crazy, but it's true. And it's not just happening in Seattle. It's happening across the country. It's kind of a relief, isn't it? It's so exciting. <laughs> it's a relief and it's exciting because, you know, like all arts, cultivating new and younger audiences as your audiences age out. Um, is crucial. What is your first memory of film when you fell in love with it? A key memory of mine was when I was able to drive the car by myself. I had just gotten my license and I went to the movies by myself for the first time. This is a big story, a major story. You understand that? We are got, got to get down there. The Killing Fields. I went and saw The Killing Fields, which I think probably says a lot more about me than it should. But that experience of going to the movies and being able to sit by myself and have, you know, have the film there and just be alone and to be alone with my thoughts and be able to process that um, was life changing. I was 16. There's a lot of talk about diversity and inclusion. They may seem like buzzwords, but is that part of the focus of SIF? Absolutely, especially in the festival. Our programming team is made up of 28 different people um, who are all responsible for different sections. They are actually from the communities that they are programming. And that was really important because we also want to be sure that the, the film teams behind those films are from those areas. This year we're representing 84 different countries and regions from around the world uh, in 10 days. How many films? 261. You have been doing this for more than 20 years. You yes. started out as an intern? Yes, volunteer. And you are still here. Still what here. keeps you here more than 20 years now, 22? 
You know, I love that feeling of watching an audience connect to a film. I love a giant audience and I love the roar of, of approval or of laughter or of screaming. But I also love the smaller audience that really something changes for them. There was a, a film, a film filmmaker that we brought. It was about older people understanding their trans grandkids. And one woman in the Q&A raised her hand and said, you know, my granddaughter is trans and I never understood it until now, thank you. And it was like, and that's why I do my job. That moment of using film to tell a story and to connect someone with a part of their life. <laughs> it's that, it's those moments, connecting those films and those filmmakers to the audiences that they made the films for. Do you remember your first movie? SIF runs from May 9th through the 19th. It's opening with the comedy Thelma, starring actress June Squibb. The entire list out today, all 261 films featured over the 10-day festival. You can find all of the information on SIF's website, as well as festival passes, single film tickets. And we should note, SIF is run by volunteers, and every two hours of volunteer time will earn you a free pass to a festival film.